If you often have or ever had constipation, you know how uncomfortable it can be. Sometimes so bad that you want to make it go away within no time, like immediately. Laxatives can be a quick fix, but they don't come with side effects either, including dehydration, nausea, dizziness, electrolyte imbalances and muscle weakness due to that, and sometimes even diarrhea. Here's another surprising fact about laxatives. Studies show that long-term use of laxatives might be closely linked with kidney damage and kidney stones, especially in older people who already have risk factors for kidney damage, like high blood pressure and diabetes. In fact, the National Kidney Foundation warns patients with chronic kidney disease about using bowel cleansing products, like laxatives, suggesting that these over-the-counter or prescription medications can cause acute kidney injury or sudden loss of kidney function. People older than 55 years, CKD patients, those who are dehydrated, and those taking diuretics, ACE inhibitors, ARBs, and non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs like ibuprofen, aspirin, and naproxen must be very careful about taking laxatives in the long run. So, first of all, never take laxatives without talking to a healthcare expert who knows about your health condition and medical history. And if you're looking for the best healthy drinks that will make you poop immediately, this video is for you. The drinks we're going to tell you about are 100% natural and offer laxative effects without potential side effects. And we'll also tell you if there's anything you should be careful about these drinks if you have certain health conditions. So stay with us till the end and let's begin. Number 1. Prune Juice Prunes are among the best natural remedies for constipation. Prune juice is rich in sorbitol, a type of sugar alcohol that also works as a natural laxative. It draws water into the large intestine, stimulating bowel movements and relieving constipation. Prunes and prune juices are also a good source of fiber, which promotes bowel movements and prevents constipation in the first place. To make prune juice, take one cup of pitted prunes and soak them in three cups of water overnight for at least 8 to 12 hours. Then, put all of that into a blender and blend until it becomes smooth and achieves a juice-like consistency. If the mixture is still too thick, add more water and blend again. This will give you about 4 cups of prune juice with pulp. Use a strainer to remove the pulp, but it's better to drink it with pulp for quick relief from constipation. If you're new to this, start with a half cup of prune juice and see how it works, then gradually increase to one cup. Don't drink it too much at once, as it can cause diarrhea and loose stools. Also, remember that both prunes and prune juice are high in natural sugars. One cup, 8 ounces, or 240 milliliters of prune juice may have as much as 42 grams of sugars, including fructose, glucose, and sucrose. In addition to 6 grams of sorbitol, which is almost half as sweet as table sugar. So, if you're diabetic, drinking prune juice can significantly increase your blood sugar. To avoid that, it's best to drink just a half cup of prune juice, preferably with pulp, as fiber in the pulp can help prevent blood sugar spikes. People with chronic kidney disease, too, should avoid drinking more than a half cup of prune juice in one serving. This is mainly because prune juice is high in potassium and sorbitol, both of which can speed up kidney damage in susceptible individuals. Number 2. Lemon Water Yes, you can use lemon water to prevent and relieve constipation if you know the right way to prepare it and the right time to drink it. You might be surprised to know that vitamin C in lemons also has a tendency to pull water into the intestines, which helps to make the stools softer. Citric acid in lemons stimulates the production of digestive enzymes, which helps in the digestion of food. It also has mild, laxative effects, which further promote bowel movements. Another major component of lemon water is, of course, water, which directly contributes to hydration and makes stools softer, helping your gut get rid of them. For specifically constipation relief, prefer warm lemon water over cold lemon water because warmth in general also facilitates the stools to pass through. Simply squeeze half a lemon into a cup of water. It's always better to drink it regularly, first thing in the morning on an empty stomach. You can also drink it 30 minutes after a meal, as it can help your stomach digest your food and therefore 
prevent constipation. Number 3. Coffee As relieving as it may sound, coffee is a natural stimulant and a laxative. It stimulates the gastrocolic reflex, which basically happens when your gut senses the foods or drinks you consume and stimulates your intestines to push them forward. Surprisingly, studies show that for coffee, this gastrocolic reflex is about 60% stronger than water and 23% stronger than decaf. Besides that, coffee has also been shown to stimulate the gallbladder to release bile, which further helps in the digestion of fats and promotes bowel movements. The warmth of coffee further facilitates this process. Drinking coffee on an empty stomach in the morning will not just help your eyes get wide open, but also stimulate bowel movements. But avoid doing that if you already have GERD, gastritis, acid reflux, or stomach ulcers. Coffee is acidic, which can make these conditions worse. In that case, drinking coffee after a meal can be a better option. Plus, avoid drinking more than two to three cups of coffee and keep yourself hydrated during the day. Coffee is a diuretic, meaning it makes you pee more so you'll need a consistent supply of water to maintain your hydration status. Number 4. Apple Cider Vinegar Apple cider vinegar isn't itself a laxative, but it definitely can help prevent constipation if that's your everyday story. Its primary ingredient is acetic acid, which being acidic promotes digestion and prevents constipation. Simply dilute one tablespoon of ACV in a glass of water. Drink it on an empty stomach and about 20 to 30 minutes before the next big meal. It may not just help with digestion, but can also prevent post-meal blood sugar spikes for people with diabetes. ACV also tends to increase feelings of fullness, so you'll likely eat less than usual, which can help you lose those extra pounds. Here's another tip. Choose raw, unfiltered ACV with the mother. It is a cloudy substance you'll notice at the bottom of the bottle and contains certain enzymes, proteins, and probiotic bacteria. You can drink diluted ACV up to three times a day, but only if your body tolerates it. Plus, avoid drinking ACV if you have any inflammatory gut conditions, like ulcers in the stomach or intestines, GERD, acid reflux, or gastritis. Number 5. Aloe Vera Juice now this is what you can call a drink that can make you poop almost immediately. Aloe vera juice has been shown to stimulate mucus secretion, pull water into the intestines, and stimulate intestinal muscles to contract, triggering bowel movements. You can easily find ready-made aloe vera juice in supermarkets and health stores that deal in herbal products. Look for varieties that are 100% natural, are labeled aloin-free or decolorized, and do not contain added sugars or artificial flavors. Start with a small amount, about a quarter cup, and see how your body reacts to it. If tolerated, you can gradually increase the amount to 4 to 8 ounces, or 1 cup per day, on an empty stomach. Pregnant and breastfeeding women should never drink aloe vera juice. People with kidney disease, IBS, and other inflammatory gut conditions, and those already taking laxatives, diuretics, and blood thinners should be very careful and talk to their healthcare expert before getting aloe vera juice on a daily basis. Number 6. Kefir Kefir is like a liquid yogurt and among the best probiotic foods out there. Being a probiotic, kefir promotes a healthy gut environment. The more balanced your gut bacteria are, the better your digestion will be, and therefore, a significantly lower risk of developing constipation. Typically, most adults can safely take 400 to 500 milliliters of kefir every day for up to 4 weeks, or 100 to 180 milliliters daily for up to 12 weeks. Avoid drinking it too much as it might do the opposite of what you want. Here are some bonus tips to follow if you want to relieve constipation fast. 1. Stay hydrated, as water is among the best things to keep your intestines lubricated. This is especially important if you're taking diuretics or laxatives as they make your body lose more water. 2. Avoid consuming sugary fruits and drinks, including fruit juices with added sugar and without pulp, and especially carbonated drinks and sodas. 3. Don't eat too much fiber in a single serving. 
fiber can be a good thing to help relieve constipation, but too much of it can make constipation much worse. 4. In severe cases, an enema might be the quickest fix for constipation. Some laxative medications also come in drink form as a quick fix. You can take them too, as per the advice of your healthcare expert. Check out these videos too!